Welcome to Enchanted Tarot. This is for the sign of Scorpio. It is a general reading. That being said, it may or may not resonate with you. If it doesn't sound like it's your story, check your other placements. Your messages could be there. So for you, Scorpio, there's a really deep connection we have here. Um, but it feels like someone has distanced themselves. All right. But still, they are still connected to you. Um, I feel like this person was and still is head over heels with you. And the way, the reason I say it like that is that they were head over heels in love with you, but they're hiding that they still are head over heels in love with you. The thing is, the reason they distance themselves is not because they didn't love you. It's because, really, they were afraid to love you, okay? They were afraid of getting their heart broken. Uh, they were afraid you didn't love them back. I mean, they had a lot of fears. Um, they have trust issues. And um, this is because of something that happened to this person, maybe several bad experiences. Um, this could be a pattern of thinking for this person um, because of, of one thing that happened to them. Um, this person was seeing red flags where there were none, really. And um, this is why they distance themselves. It's why. We have the devil, the, the devil down here, so we know that there is a pattern and we know that uh, whatever they thought they were seeing was uh, most likely an illusion, okay? I feel like, although they've distanced themselves uh, from you, of course, we know they still love you. It's right here. They still want another opportunity. This This couple stands in an archway, and we got Cupid here also who is present on this card. They want to communicate with you. They want to uh, invite you back into their life. And they want to make up with you. It's all right here. This person wants to take this action. They want to send you a message. I feel like it's something they're still, uh, like they're afraid to do this. Or they have been, at least, up to this point. And even when they do decide to do it, and they will, they will still be uh, somewhat uncertain. Because of the pattern, because the pattern, there's still fallout from, uh, from trying to break free from it, okay? Because um, we know that something drastic occurred. We know that uh, that they're looking back at it. I feel like this person was overwhelmed by fears uh, in the moment. I feel like they distanced themselves, like they caused this, this tower uh, to happen. So the tower, of course, uh, the ancient title for the tower is the hospital. Um, most of you may not know that. And um, and so if you look at it like that, well, the hospital is a fearful place to go. Nobody wants to go there, right? Um, but yet it is also a place of healing. So um, I feel like this tower did occur because something needed to be exposed. It happened for a reason, it happened because this person wasn't making or taking the steps to uh, to fix uh, something or to look at something, uh, something painful that was affecting them. And so this tower occurred uh, to, it's kind of like it forced the hand. They didn't do it, so the divine steps in and it's, it's like it makes it a harder lesson. If you don't do it, then uh, if outside forces need to come in, 
uh, and and make this happen it's like it's harsher it's harder or it feels like it's harder uh, but um it's like this person had to learn the hard way hard way that's that's basically uh, what it is it took time it took time for this person uh, to see this but they will or it takes time but they do and we see that they are uh, we can see the the war going on uh, in the mind here because this is all about uh, imagination and illusions and thinking the worst and we know that's going on it's here in the nine of swords it's here in the nine of swords again on top of the relationship, on top of this love connection. And at the same time, this card speaks to, uh, it speaks to their fears, but it also speaks to their longing. They still want this. They still desire this. This is somebody whose imagination can run away with them. But now up here we have the card of Earth. And it's saying, well, you may need to apply logic and reason to this situation. You may need to look deeper. And so, it's something that they are, they're afraid to go back and look at that. And we have a mimosa in here. So, they're afraid to go back and look at that, look at something that they've been avoiding, but uh, now is the time to do it. And you see they're looking at that tower and they're afraid, but they really want this opportunity with this person. So it's like they're being forced to do this at this time. Because behind them is the solution. In looking back, they will see how they got here and they will see the way through, the way out. See, um, there's a solution here for all of the issues that this person believed were going on in this relationship. Um, there's a solution here. It, it looked like there were a lot of issues, but really it was coming from one place, the Nine of Swords. Okay, so here's the, look, I'm not surprised at all. There's the, the hermit and there's the key. And so the key, the hermit is looking back at that ten of cups and all of the issues and uh, looking for the solution. And he will find it because this card says that solutions can now be found. The way out of this prison you see, the way out of this prison is behind you. This person would be watching and waiting. Maybe waiting uh, for the right moment to approach. Again, we're being shown... with the owls and the whip I, I there was a conflict okay with that whip um, but um, the owls uh, show them the way through the owl is wise and it is observant and it sees through the dark so um, again it's telling them to be more observant and look deeper Pay attention to even the smallest of details. The tree. Oh, look at that. So, the tree. We see at the bottom of the tree, at the base, uh, we see all of these mushrooms growing. And so, again, it looks like uh, it appears to be many issues, but uh, uh, mushrooms all seem to grow separately, but they don't. They grow from one fungus. You just can't see it, you know. So that's what they want them to find. What was at the root of all of these uh, all of these issues? And this could be something that has taken time, but this person, uh, in doing so, it gives them and shows them the direction, okay? 
it shows them and gives them a direction. This is about wanting to stabilize something. In order to stabilize it, they must look at the root issue. This, uh, typically, the tree indicates a long time, so it's a, a, we're talking about a long-held belief. And that's also being confirmed over here. Uh, yeah, with the, with the Hierophant. But look at this. Look at this. Having to do with love and opportunities. This person uh, feels like they're going to get their heart broken. That's what it is. They ran because they were afraid, not because they didn't love you, because they were afraid. But here now uh, is the chance for them to figure out uh, why they ran and why they've probably been running for quite some time. So uh, this is happening for a reason. A lesson is being learned. The wheel is here. Um, this is like a turning point. This is where they get to wipe the slate clean, take back their power, and start again. What they thought they were seeing was... Uh, well, the, the, the feelings were real. It's something they were carrying that they've been avoiding to deal with. But the vision it was creating for them was not real. The, the, um, the magician, you know. And so here's a chance to start again, a new opportunity. Only this time, uh, I feel like they will be ready for the opportunity. This time, they're going to be uh, in the right place in their mind for this opportunity and in their heart, you know. Of course, the heart has been there all along. The heart has been loving this person all along, right? But uh, the ghosts of the past, the things that haunted them, uh, is where the interference was coming in. This is all going to change all right so there's a new opportunity but it's going to be much much different this time and look there's the wyvern so again a confirmation of another chance coming in the, he's the um he grants second chances he also says that now is the time to forgive. Whether you're talking about forgiveness, uh, forgiving yourself for something or, or someone else, you know. So, um, you can expect, uh, if this is happening to you, you can expect you're going to hear from this person. Um, but, Something major has happened here in this time you've been apart. And it was supposed to happen. And it is and has been a hard lesson learned for this person. Yeah. That is what I have for you. I thank you for watching, for liking, and for sharing my videos, and for subscribing. Also, thank you to everyone who has sent in a donation. It is greatly appreciated. Many blessings to all of you.